Now is certainly not the time to talk about the X's and O's of sports and to say the current climate of our nation is tense following the murder of George Floyd would be an immense understatement. While the NBA and other leagues seem to be at the forefront of this issue, the NFL sentiment has fallen a little bit flat. Now, the league did put out a statement following the death of George Floyd, but the Patriots are the only Boston sports team who has yet to make a comment on the issue. Guys, what's your immediate reaction to where the NFL and the Patriots stand right now? Well, it's always for the NFL, Sierra. Ultimately, it comes down to their bottom line, sponsorship agreements, endorsement deals, all that kind of stuff. It it all relates back to all the issues with Colin Kaepernick and the peaceful protests during the anthem, too. It's all the same thing, is that the league is concerned about losing sponsors, about losing fans that are fall on one side of this argument that people shouldn't fall on, but that's unfortunately the world that we live in. So I think within the league, the questions that people are talking, you know the conversations that people are having are how do they go about moving forward allowing players to use their platform for the greater good for successful things moving forward why also not kind of you know getting into the owner's pockets too much and it's always kind of been the juggling act for the NFL I completely agree that that shouldn't be even part of the conversation right now but that's always where we're going to end up with this league yeah I think um Honestly, the league, I think, is run. Obviously, Goodell is more of a figurehead for the owners, as we all know. And the owners, frankly, a lot of them are pretty out of touch. They're older white guys who really don't understand the experiences of, you know, these black kids that are sometimes growing up impoverished or just in general as a black person. You know, you grow up and there's a lot of things you have to deal with. These, you know, police injustices, you know, a a whole gamut of things. And obviously, police brutality is really at the forefront right now. And a lot of what Colin Kaepernick was kneeling and peacefully protesting against as well as other players. Um, But I think the biggest problem is you've got people who are sending out these statements and making these big decisions who don't understand or frankly show enough care to really have a sit down discussion and really try to change the way that they address these things. It was really a blanket statement. Frankly, Ben and Jerry's just posted um, a more passionate response to what's going on than the NFL did. And like Evan said, I understand it's bottom line, owner's pockets. But if you have a bunch of unhappy players who really feel that the people who they're earning all this money don't care about them or don't care about their, uh, you know, communities, then I'm not really sure where this is going to go. It's really unpredictable. I think we could possibly be seeing more uh, peaceful protests, as Evan, you mentioned. Um, It's just it's an unfortunate situation, especially for a league that I love so much and that we cover to kind of seem so tone deaf with something that seems like a very, you know, binary issue. You know, this is this isn't business this is race and I think that's the most important thing uh when you talk about these players who feel like they're not being heard by the people by their bosses and by the people who they're earning all this money I think the most frustrating part Taylor for players in the league is that the NFL has continuously taken this stance of we want to look good in the public eye so we'll do just enough to kind of pass that test but we don't actually want to go far as far enough as we really need to as an NFL as a a league and they've done things like the players coalition and they've tried to work with players to tackle issues like race and police brutality in this country but they really haven't gone that extra mile to make it a real effort in their part to get to that point and then they pass the rules about no protesting during the anthem and you can peacefully protest inside the locker room but you can't do it on the sideline I think that players are going to get to a point here very soon maybe even this season where that's not going to be enough from the league. And I think that's what you're seeing from a lot of the responses from the players on social media is from the league perspective, it just kind of, you know, we don't need to hear it from you, Jed York, or we don't need to hear it from you, Roger Goodell, because we know that you're kind of full of shit and you're just sort of doing this to save face. So I think that's the biggest thing moving forward is how does the league kind of cooperate with players and work with players together to really make a change and make a difference. And the players, quite frankly, are getting fed up with the fact that the league is just kind of doing it just to kind of go through the motions and to kind of save face in the public eye and the worst part is you have an organization like the nba that is so much better at handling these situations with you know a similar makeup where you have the majority of your players who are black and there's a very clear uh concern and care towards making sure those players can peacefully protest can make themselves known and use their platform to make a difference for you know a subject that really shouldn't be very divisive and we've seen through history when you want to put money over humanity and people you're going to come out at the other end of history looking pretty bad so the nfl has really got to tighten up and i don't really know if it's even realistic considering that you know 
this isn't a new problem. This has been going on for years, and we haven't seen significant change. The uh, Players Coalition uh, members who have spoken to the league never really seem to leave those meetings feeling particularly heard or cared about. So, I mean, again, just uh, – you know, kind of repeating. It's just that, especially when you have the NBA doing such a great job, the NFL just looks really bad. And like you said, man, I mean, there's got to be some kind of change or players are like, you're going to get fed up. Well, one sentiment around the NFL right now, especially with its black players, is saying that they're grateful and thankful for the white players, especially the white quarterbacks who have such a platform and are really, a lot of them are the faces of the league, Tom Brady included in this conversation, has spoken out after the death of George Floyd and during this time of protest around the country. And it does seem like those voices are a little bit louder this time around because you had mentioned, Taylor, the Colin Kaepernick situation and what the NFL's stance on that and how they ban peaceful protests during the national anthem. What role does that have in where we are right now with where the NFL stands on our current issue and what could have changed or what could they have done differently that maybe could make things different than they are right now? Well, I'd say from the quarterback perspective, you know, when you've got a league where a quarterback is a very unique position in sports, there's nothing like it. When you compare anything, it's like, oh, he's the quarterback. It's because it's a position where everyone knows who you are. It's a predominantly white position, frankly, in the NFL. And it, it's, they get all the endorsements. They get all, all the attention. So when you have that kind of platform, I think in these situations, it is somewhat your responsibility as someone who is the leader of the team. Like you said, they're the faces of the NFL for a league that's frankly staying pretty quiet to try and be an ally, you know, show a sincere gesture that you're sick and tired of seeing all these injustices that are going on around the country and that you're not just going to stand idly by because they don't affect you. You know, we've seen it again, countless times through history where you have people that remain silent and eventually, you know, maybe this is a different situation where it may not come and bite them, but you see that these things only escalate when people stay quiet. So I think it's amazing that quarterbacks are, you know, trying to step out and make some type of uh, statement to address these uh, situations because they're going to get some type of traction. You know, they've got players, they've got grown men who idolize them and will hang on every word they say. So when you have that kind of power, you know, this isn't just somebody on a soap opera that airs at one o'clock on a weekday. Like these are very important people in our society because football is so popular and so well-renowned. So I think it's almost a responsibility for a lot of these guys. And it's extremely encouraging to see that even though the NFL is kind of cowering away from the topic, that white players are stepping up in a situation that is not comfortable for a lot of, you know, white people in general, because it can feel out of place to speak to a disposition that you're not familiar with and you're not, you know, you haven't experienced. But it's nice to acknowledge that and to say, hey, just because I don't experience it doesn't mean that I don't understand that you're a person and you deserve to be treated as such. Yeah, the players are mobilizing. I truly believe that. I think there is going to be things that the players are going to do with their platform over the next year that are all going to be great, you know, in terms of this topic. And the league is really going to have to figure out where it fits in and where its rules fit in. You know, they've already taken the anthem sort of out of the players' hands and not allowed that to be a stage for their peaceful protesting. So there's going to be other stages that the players are going to self-create, essentially, to make this, you know, matter heard for them. And I, I think that that's really the next step now is the players taking matters into their own hands kind of forcing the league to just kind of let them do their thing and let them speak out about this because clearly it's something that everybody in the league white black whatever is disappointed in but the league itself is just again just too worried about the bottom line and about money and dollars and cents and the craziest thing is when you think about it, the, the owners are billionaires. The players are millionaires at best. Some of these guys are making thousands. Obviously, it's nothing to scoff at. But they're going to feel the impact of a reduced amount of money coming in the NFL more than the owners are. Those guys are going to be fine. The players, eventually it trickles down. They're going to end up having to make less money. I'm not a big you know, money cap guy or anything like that. But I understand that the people at the relative bottom of the totem pole in the NFL are the ones who are asking for change, who are asking to, yeah, you know, make a statement and come out and be impassioned about this issue that we're facing right now. Screw the people and the fans who are, frankly, racist or bigoted, who don't care about racial equality and think that we're out of place somehow for using our platform to speak out against something that has been happening since before any of us were even born. Uh, so it's still mind-boggling. But again, I think it's amazing that players, like you said, are mobilizing and trying to make some kind of difference. Absolutely. And for all the rest of our NFL coverage and Patriots coverage, both X's and O's and bigger issues during this time, you can find it on our website at clnsmedia.com and on our YouTube channel at clnsmedia.